What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Sneaker Knocker. The one and only, just a boy kicks in the power on YouTube. And you can refer to me as the Sneaker Judge. Now, before we get into the thumbnail and title of this video, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment down below. And if you happen to subscribe, please feel free to tap and slap that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content to the channel. This is the Sneaker Judge, and you have just tuned in. Now let's talk about how YouTubers like myself can increase their following with subscribers. Now the first thing I have noticed is you have to be genuine. Being genuine will get you a long way in this world that we live in. It will take you a long way so far you can even only imagine. Because genuineness is something that most people respect in this world and it's relatable. Somebody knows when you're bullshitting. And nobody wants you to interact with them if it's just based off you gaining something from them. It has to be genuine. It has to be a give and take. So that's why genuine and being genuine is the first on this list of how you can go about gaining more followers and subscribers on your YouTube channel. Next up is you can promote within your surroundings. So when I mean promote within your surroundings, I mean if you're at work. If you're at school, whatever you're doing within the day, if you're around a quite a, a, a quite amount of people, you know, if you're around a good amount of people, it's best that you self-promote. What I mean by self-promoting is, you know you have a YouTube channel, or whatever it may be, but this is the type of YouTubers. So if you have a YouTube channel and you know you're looking to gain subscribers, followers, a support system, a fan base, you have to have the confidence to go out and promote. If you could talk sports, BS with people, why not promote yourself? So that is the thing that you have to get used to doing. With me, I'm at school, I'm at work, if I'm sparking up a conversation and it, it seems to be a pretty much decent conversation, the next thing I'm doing before leaving that conversation is I'm letting those people know or this person know, hey, I just started my channel on YouTube not too long ago and I'm looking to gain as many subscribers as I could possibly gain. It would really benefit my growth towards my channel and I really appreciate if you could if you can subscribe to my channel and for the most part that comes across as genuine because I'm actually and honestly being genuine with that person because we already had a decent conversation and all I'm doing is promoting myself and in this world we live in you have a lot of entrepreneurship entrepreneurialism you have a lot of people inspiring to be their own bosses so it's relatable amongst a majority of people so when you're self-promoting, you have people that are going to respect you for that because they may be encouraged by your effort to reach out to them and promote your stuff to be able to do the same thing. So moving on, before I continue to get word trip with my words and sentences, utilize your social media accounts. Reach out. Utilize your social media accounts. I was moving ahead there. So third on the list is utilizing your social media accounts. So what I have learned since I have been a part of social media for so many years now, since it started. During the days of MySpace, we all know MySpace, right? I have been one of those people who have been active on MySpace. All of my friends can tell you. So what I have learned from all of these years of being part of social media is you have to reach out. People are just not going to add you as a friend just off the strength. They don't even know who you are. So in order to make people know who you are, make your presence felt and awareness known about what you're doing, what you're promoting, what you stand for, what your purpose is on social media, you have to go and reach out to people. So what I do on my Instagram is I go and reach out to people. I'm hitting that follow button. Follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 follow until they tell me that I'm no longer able to follow people and I'm temporarily have been blocked. I have been temporarily blocked from hitting the follow button on Instagram because I'm following people. Your followers is not going to go up simply off you posting and commenting on other people's stuff and hitting the like button on other people's stuff. It's just not going to happen. You have to follow people in hopes that they follow you back. Now, most people don't follow you back and all you got to do is go to the app store Download whatever app 
will allow you to see who's not following you back and just unfollow them. But most important here is to respect those who didn't unfollow you. And those are who you will be able to network with and reach out to. And that's what I do. Whoever I follow, I like their pictures, which is being genuine. I'm not just following you to give you a pitch so you can support me and then I'm, I haven't given you nothing. So for the most part, people like for their pictures to be light. People respect you if you comment on their pictures. It shows that you're engaging with them. You're being interactive and you're not just bullshitting and using them for, for a subscribe. You feel me? So that's what I do. I hit those like buttons. I comment if a picture is worthy of my comment. And I also DM them and send them a pitch of how I'm trying to gain my followers and increase my subscribers on YouTube. And for the most part, it has been working. It's the best idea that I possibly could have ever came up with. I started off with like 36 subscribers and now I'm at almost 250. By this video, I hope to have 250 and my goal is to reach 300 by the end of this month of March. So it has been working. And for people like myself and people who don't have the confidence who are insecure, who just feel like, oh, it's, it's um, annoying, it's, um, it's going to get people, it's going to get on people's nerves or whatever the case may be that discourages you from reaching out and doing your self-promotion and networking. It's something that you just have to do in this day and ever because you don't have a lot of friends that's going to promote you and share your, your content. You just don't have that. You have to do everything yourself and start from the ground up. And the only way to increase your subscribers is by being sociable. You have to go out there and engage with people. And I'm not going to tell you my secret or my method of madness to my technique of how my subscribers are gaining, how I'm gaining my subscribers because I don't want anybody to go and steal that idea. You just have to come up with your own little niche and hopefully it works for you because this has been working for me, which is why I'm giving back to my community and the peers like myself who are like under a thousand subscribers and want to gain their followers. Moving on is... You have to reach out and network with established YouTubers. That's number four on the list. By reaching out to established YouTubers, you just show them that, yo, I respect everything you have been doing, being genuine. You see how everything revolves around being genuine. This don't bullshit nobody because people can smell bullshit from miles away. So what I do is, when I started on YouTube, before I even started uploading videos like that, I reached out to everybody I have watched on YouTube. Shout out to Mr. Skinny for following me back on Instagram. Damn D, he hasn't followed me back, but I have reached out to him, showed him my respect, paid homage, let him know like, yo, you part of the reason why I'm actually behind this camera of mine and doing what I'm doing now. And I respect everything you've been doing. Gave me some good advice, told me to keep grinding, and there you have it. Also, you have 2J Kicks. No, not 2J Kicks, but you have He Got Kicks. You have Sniper Jones. I reached out to all of these people. Um, Dunn Kicks. He showed me much love and respect. Um, There's a few other people who I, I can't remember at this moment. But I reached out to all of the primary people on YouTube who have their little live channels and podcasts and upload videos and get the proper respect from the sneaker community. And that's how I established my, my footing in this industry, which ain't too much press that I have made, but I'm making my mark some way, somehow, and it's only gonna get better from here on out. But you have to go and make your presence known and felt with these, these people who are already established. You never know, you may build a friendship, a relationship. Sort of like how Sniper Jones and Unbreakable Kicks got going on right now. He's really smart with his whole business ordeal and how he's going about his branding because he's, he's powered up with one of the most influential sneaker YouTubers since DMD, like I'm just gonna admit, DMD, you helped Unbreakable Kicks get his followers. Like you really did. But it was in a negative and he changed that negative into a positive and he's still striving, still going strong. I wish both of you guys and everybody who I have mentioned in this video the best with their YouTube success and career. But like Unbreakable Kicks and Sniper Jones, their friendship, Fight Academy Kicks and Unbreakable Jones, they're teaming up with somebody that is, you know, really unbreakable in this sneaker culture because he has already teamed up with 2J Kicks. He gets respect from, from Conceited and other well-known YouTubers who have great collections, who have the, the funding to do whatever at this part. Tony D2 Wow is another person. Like, he's inspiring me. Um, before all the slandering of Scoop, Scoopity Poop, Scoop 208, he was one of the people that inspired me. A lot of people, and I have paid homage to everybody, and if you're going to join into the sneaker culture and join YouTube as a sneaker YouTuber, you have to pay homage. You have to establish a relationship with those who, 
who are the pioneers, those who came before you, and that's number four on this list. Last but not least, on this list of how to gain subscribers as a small YouTuber, you have to be active in the sneaker community. Now, when I say be active in the sneaker community, you don't have to engage in the drama, you don't have to troll, but you have to have your presence be known and felt. So when you see Mr. Skinny or Ron reviews go up live, you see Unbreakable Kicks go live, you see, not Kites, not those type of guys, no disrespect, but not those type of guys. But when you see Ron reviews, Mr. Skinny, Unbreakable Kicks, Sniper Jones, whoever else has a sneaker podcast that they go live on, you have to be in them chats, like, you have to be in them comments. You have to also comment on other people's videos. You have to. Because people view comments these days. That's one of the biggest things that get viewed. Even on Instagram. Even whatever social media site you're utilizing. You have to be in the comments. You have to be liking pictures. You have to be liking videos. You have to be commenting. You have to be in the chats. Because people are going to notice you. If you're consistent, people are going to be like, Yo, hey, who is the sneaker judge? He's always in the chats. Yo, I like that comment that Sneaker Judge wrote under such and such video. Oh, I like that such and such comment that Sneaker Judge wrote under such and such picture. So you have to be everywhere if you're looking to gain your subscribers. And that's the last tip. I hope you guys who tuned in enjoyed this video because I'm really trying to give back to, the, to my community of the sneaker culture on YouTube. I haven't gained that many subscribers, but I know with my motivation, my drive, my passion for my hobby of reviewing sneakers, buying sneakers, and reviewing apparel, and buying apparel, I will be where I need to be and reach my goals continuously. And you just tuned in with the Sneaker Knocker, the one and only. Judge of all kicks in the power on YouTube. And you can refer to me as the Sneaker Judge. See you guys in my next video. Peace.